compound words are words that are made up by combining two words together. Sometimes the meaning can easily be guessed by checking the meaning of the components of the compound word. Like for example, afterlife, keyboard, airport, and so on. But sometimes putting the meaning of both words together can be misleading and will not reveal the real meaning of the compound words like catfish or hot dog. In Arabic and more specifically the Holy Qur'an, this phenomenon is also present. And for those who followed the Qur'anic vocabulary series, they will benefit the most from this lesson, since the components of the compound words that we are highlighting today have already been covered in this series. So it is highly recommended to check out this series to make the best out of this lesson. You'll find the links in the description. So what kind of compound words can we find in the Qur'an? Let's start with the first compound word, and that is Ibn Sabil. And this combination is made up of Ibn, which means son, and as sabil which means the way. The combination itself means a traveler in need. And we see it used in this example. وَالْغَارِمِينَ وَفِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَبِنِ السَّبِيلِ Next is another combination that has to do with the word السَّبِيلِ which is سَوَاء السَّبِيلِ which is made up of two words. The first word is سَوَاء which means equal and the second word as we know is السبيل, which means the way. And this combination means the right path or the right way. And we see it used in these examples. وَمَنْ يَتَبَدَّلِ الْكُفْرَ بِالْإِيمَانِ فَقَدْ ضَلَّ سَوَاءَ السَّبِيلِ Next is سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ And it is made up of سَبِيل which means way and Allah. And this combination together means the cause of Allah or the path of Allah. And we see it used in these examples. وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا Another example. إن الذين كفروا وصدوا عن سبيل الله قد ضلوا ضلالا بعيدا. Next is the combination أصحاب الجنة. And this combination is made up of أصحاب, which means friends or companions, and the word Al Jannah, which means the paradise. And the combination means the inhabitants of the paradise. And we see it used in these examples. In Ashab al Jannati al Yawma fi Shurulin وَنَادَوْا أَصْحَابَ الْجَنَّةِ أَنْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ 
لم يدخلوها وهم يطمعون. Next is the opposite and that is أصحاب النار. And this combination is made up of the same word and that is أصحاب which means friends or companions. And on the other side is النار which means the fire. And in this case, this combination means the inmates of the fire. And we see it used in this example. وَنَادَى أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ أَصْحَابَ النَّارِ أَنْ قَدْ وَجَدْنَا مَا وَعَدَنَا رَبُّنَا حَقَّا And before we move to the next combination, it is important to notice that the word أصحاب, when it is added to another noun, it will mean the people of. So, for example, we'll find the following combinations in the Qur'an. Ashab al-Kahf, the people of the cave. Ashab al-Qarya, the people of the village. Ashab al-A'raf. And there are so many other examples of the same nature. And some are more frequent than others. The next combination is Ruh al-Qudus. And this combination is made up of the word ruh, which means soul or spirit. And the second part of it is al-qudus, which means holy. And this combination refers to the angel Jibril, or if it is literally translated, it would then be the Holy Spirit. We see it used in this example. وَآتَيْنَا عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمَ الْبَيِّنَاتِ وَأَيَّدْنَاهُ بِرُوحِ الْقُدُسِ Next is the combination of المسجد الحرام And it is made up of المسجد which means the mosque And the second part of it is الحرام which means the forbidden and this combination refers to Al-Ka'ba or Al-Haram. And we see it used in this example. Subhana al-ladhi asra bi'abdihi laylam min al-masjid al-haram ila al-masjid al-aqsa. Another combination with the same meaning and that is Al-Bayt al-Haram which is made up of al-bayt, which means the house, and al-haram, which is the forbidden. And this combination means al-ka'bah or al-haram. We see it used in this example. جَعَلَ اللَّهُ الْكَعْبَةَ الْبَيْتَ الْحَرَامَ قِيَامًا لِلنَّاسِ and if you think that the name is a bit strange, that al kaaba is referred to as Al-Bayt Al-Haram, it is called like that because it is forbidden to fight or hunt in this city until the Day of Judgment. The next combination is Wajh Allah. And the components of this combination is Wajh, which means face, and Allah. And this combination means for the sake of Allah. And we see it used with this meaning in these examples. وَمَا آتَيْتُم مِّن زَكَاةٍ تُرِيدُونَ وَجَهَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُضْعِفُونَ The final combination is الغيب والشهادة And it is made up of the word غيب which means the unseen and the word الشهادة which means testimony or the known. The word الشهادة when it is used separately it will always refer to testimony but when it is used in combination of الغيب then it will always mean the known or the disclosed, like in these examples. 
ذلك عالم الغيب والشهادة العزيز الرحيم قل اللهم فاطر السماوات والأرض عالم الغيب والشهادة أنت تحكم بين عبادك And finally, the most important thing that we can learn from this lesson is that context can be as important as learning the meaning of words in the Holy Qur'an. So if your translation of a certain word doesn't fit the meaning of the ayah, you should consider checking if this is indeed a compound word that has a different meaning, or if the word itself has more than one meaning. And as you might expect, you'll find the PDF of this lesson in the description below. And you will also find the printable version for those who want to print the lesson out. And also don't forget to check out our memorize page to learn these words more effectively. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next lesson.